Hi dear students, in this module we will discuss about magnetic effect of electric current. When your friends come to visit you, they ring the doorbell. You hear the ringing bell and know someone is at the door. The electric bell produces sound using magnetic effect of electric current. When an electric current is passed through a wire, it behaves like a magnet. Let's perform a simple experiment to understand it. Take a thin insulator copper wire and fix it in the north-south direction. Place a compass needle which is a tiny magnet under the wire. Connect the two ends of the wire to a battery. When no current is flowing in the wire, the magnetic needle is parallel to the wire and points in the usual north-south direction. The needle gets deflected from its north-south position when current is passed through the wire. When electric current is switched off, needle returns its original position. This shows that an electric current produces a magnetic field around it. Let's perform a simple activity to show the magnetic effect of current. Take a long piece of flexible wire and wrap it around an iron nail. This forms an electromagnet. Connect the free ends of the wire to the terminals of a cell through a switch. Now, place some pins near the end of the nail and switch on the current. We see that the pins cling to the tip of the nail. When the current is switched off, the pins no longer are attracted to the nail. The coil in the above activity behaves like a magnet when electric current flows through it. When the electric current is switched off, the coil generally loses its magnetism. Such coils are called electromagnets. Thus, an electromagnet works on the magnetic effect of electric current. Uses of electromagnets You must have observed cranes lifting heavy iron scraps in scrapyard. These lifts make use of electromagnets for lifting and transporting large masses of iron scrap, girders, plates, etc. It's also used to separate magnetic material from the junk. The main advantage of electromagnets over the normal magnets is that they can easily start and stop. And the strength of the magnetic field can be effectively controlled. Electromagnets is also used for magnetic resonance imaging, that is MRI, getting a detailed image of the inside of the body to diagnose a number of diseases. Electrical devices such as electric bell, microphone, loudspeakers, etc. make use of electromagnet. Let's now look at the working of an electric bell. It functions by means of an electromagnet. The electric bell consists of a coil of wire wound on an iron piece. The coil acts as an electromagnet. An iron strip with the hammer at one end is kept close to the electromagnet. There is a contact screw near the iron strip. When the iron strip is in contact with the screw, the current flows through the coil turning it to an electromagnet. It then pulls the iron strip. In the process, the hammer at the end of the strip strikes the gong of the bell to produce sound. Let's summarize what we have learnt. An electric current produces a magnetic field around it. A current carrying coil of an insulated wire wrapped around a piece of iron is called electromagnet. Electric bell functions on the principle of electromagnet. Thank you dear students. The lesson is completed. 